Hello and welcome to the Victorian High Building Crops Research Centre here in Nawari, in Victoria's high rainfall zone about 30 kilometres west of Geelong. This site is part of a new GRDC investment looking to increase productivity across Australia's high rainfall zones led by Far Australia. In today's video, Nick Poole and myself will be looking at fungicide timings. This is a key time to consider management of disease. We've got crops that are starting to elongate and they're beginning to actually show disease that's becoming aggressive in some cases. But how do we control that disease? What are the key timings? In order to answer that question, we need to know what the development stage of the crop is. Because to get an economic response from a fungicide, we need to know that the tissue that we're protecting or the plant material we're protecting with that fungicide is actually going to be valuable and give us an economic return. What we found over time is that actually it's the top leaves of the canopy, in particular the top three leaves of the canopy, that can give us some of our greatest responses to controlling foliar diseases. And that's because those leaves are actually the leaves that power the majority of grain fill along with the stem. Well, fine to tell me that it's the top three or four leaves in some cases of the canopy, but how do I know which leaf is emerging? This is a oak from the side of the road. You can see, just like all cereals, it's got a flag leaf. It's got the leaf underneath the flag, which we refer to as F-1. And here, diseased and perished at the bottom, fully senesced, is F-2. But in the crops that we've just been looking at, we've been looking at spring wheats here. How do we know which leaf is which? Well, these spring wheats taken from the scepter and the trojan just there are actually just in the process of producing our last leaf, the flag leaf. So our key objective is really to make sure that whatever we're doing with our foliar fungicides is protecting these two uh, top leaves and these two lower canopy leaves. So that's flag, flag minus one, and then flag minus two. And on some occasions, particularly with barley, we're interested in preserving F minus three. So the third leaf down from the flag leaf. Those are key targets for fungicides in cereals. In terms of fungicide type, spring wheats that I've shown you have already had their first fungicide and we are approaching, fast approaching, the second application. With winter wheats that require that period of vernalization before they can stem elongate in spring, rather like revenue here, the crop is not as advanced. But this growth stage that we see here of growth stage 31 represents our first opportunity to put fungicide on those two lower canopy leaves, F-2 and F-3. And we'd like to show you in a little bit more depth what those key leaves are that are emerging in this crop and how to take a shortcut that ev avoids dissecting out those individual leaves in order to see which is which. So checking for nodal growth stage and be very careful when you're using a sharp knife, but the way I, we normally do it is to trim away the basal roots, try not to cut off the base of the stem itself. And then very gently making sure that you don't cut your fingers or thumbs, run the knife directly through the middle of the stem. So you have a cross section. And then when you open it up, you can actually see here, this is what we call the basal node here. And you can actually see the first node just here in the cross section. And what's happening is that the second node is just beginning to form. And you can see there the internode space 
is less than two centimetres between the first node and the second node, so this crop is still at growth stage 31. What we'll now look at is what leaf is emerging from that main stem at growth stage 31, moving towards 32, this leaf here. We're now looking at the main stem of Bennett, that's at growth stage 31. And what we've done in exactly the same way as with Scepter, which is much more advanced and pushing its flag leaf out, is to look at what leaves are still yet to emerge in our crop of Bennett. And what you can see is that there is still a leaf covering the embryo head. That, believe it or not, will be our flag leaf. Next to it, flag minus one. And this will be the third leaf down in the canopy come the end of the season. This is F minus two. The leaf that's actually emerging at this growth stage 31 crop is F minus three. And it will be uh, a week or so before this leaf, F minus two, starts to emerge. So we traditionally think of the first fungicides going on to protect these two lower leaves at growth stage 31 to 32. And then our flag leaf spray that goes on as this last leaf emerges. And you can see just how tiny it is at this early stem elongation stage. So in wheat, the key objective of any disease management program to combat disease with fungicide has to be to protect those top four leaves of the canopy from flag leaf down to F minus three. Those are what we refer to as the money leaves. And the most important of those is the flag and the least important F minus three. And the two key timings of our fungicides to coincide with the emergence of those leaves are to apply fungicide that covers the two lower leaves, F minus two and F minus three, at growth stage 31 to 32. And then again, with a second follow-up spray, ideally no more than four weeks later, that applies fungicide to the flag leaf. But of course, some varieties may be more susceptible than others. This is Bennett, and you can already see here at growth stage 31, a foci that we've actually had to already treat with fungicides. So in some cases where a variety is particularly uh, susceptible, we may have to intervene before growth stage 31 at say that growth stage 30 stage. The economics of applying fungicide though are very much dependent on the genetic resistance of the varieties. And we found in the hyper yielding cereals project that a variety like Bennett is very responsive to the correct fungicide package.